<laughs> hey, girl, people. <laughs> Watch this woman with a megaphone. I don't know if she's conservative or liberal, but when you walk out in the street, when the president of the United States motorcade, I tell people this all the time. They don't believe me. They want to say, no, man, we have rights. But you don't have rights when the president's around. Everything is gone. He is a quasi-dictator, and his secret service is the SS, and if you do anything, they will get you. But this guy looks like a local cop. He's got police on, and it just amazes me on how these other cops stand around. Let's look at this. Protester, uh, who was essentially the tackled. Okay, so I'm sure there's some police officers saying we should help her and protect her for her safety. Meanwhile, there's cops every five feet just watching, just watching, Look at all these cops just watching. Nobody wants to jump out there and protect the president. I wonder if the Secret Service gets to say, hey, uh, Supreme Court said we don't have to uh, respond when you need help. So if somebody attacks you, Mr. President, I'm just walking away. I mean, you got to keep paying me. I'm still in the Secret Service. It's still my job to protect you. But I wonder if the Secret Service has a policy that they don't have to protect the president. Since all other cops basically have a policy they don't have to protect the people. That's an interesting question. Anyway, let's get back to this dummy. You know how... <laughs> <laughs> so he comes up behind her, and normally, I'm, I, when I first saw this, I was like, I wonder why I didn't take her to the ground immediately. I mean, if I'm going to put her in custody, she'd have went to the ground immediately. <clears throat> but I'm thinking he probably, like, you know what? Let me get her off the street in case she's got a bomb on her, and I'll move her away from the motorcade. So I'm thinking that's why he moved her. It, it is a very difficult to... So he drags her. He doesn't really try to take her down. Uh, right there. She tries to hit him with the... <laughs> she tries to do a backhand strike. Watch this. Backhand strike with the old megaphone. <laughs> Maybe he's grabbing her in chokehold. I'm noticing this cop isn't helping this cop. Why is that? Why isn't the code blue jumping in and they're dogpiling her? Nobody assisted. Look at him. La, 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 la. I didn't see anything. I don't have to do it. Supreme Court said I don't have to protect anybody. I'm just, I'm just giving my paycheck. I'm just here. La, 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 la. Nope. Not uh, it, it's almost like he knew this was going to happen, and he just kind of, oh, I'll just, I'm not trying to get the conspiracy theories riled up here. Going over there. Uh, look at that move there. <laughs> she takes his head off his bald head. <laughs> that ain't right, man. Cover that head up. That's cold-blooded. Ah, my head! My glasses! She got my glasses! My shoe! She got my shoe! He gives a weak-ass punch. This dude walks over with a weapon, a sling. He could have hit the cop in the head. And I don't know if it's male or female. But these cops kind of just say, get back. Finally, so this dude comes over in a suit. I'm not sure if he's Secret Service. Plain clothes detective wanted to get close to the to the, to the cop. I don't know this cop. Nobody helps this guy. Nobody helps this guy. <laughs> oh, she was a Biden supporter saying, "We want gun control. We want." <laughs> oh shit! Nobody is still helping this dude. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's watch this again with no sound. And I'm going to point out a few things. Uh, so she's screaming, we want more gun control. A woman's body is her right. It's my body. I can... Ooh, what What the... What? Rape! Rape! Now, she... Help! This woman has a right to defend herself. Women's rights will be out there now. How dare this man? It's her body. She can do what she wants. All right. So he... uh. These guys don't help or anything, but he does a pretty good strike after he gets her down. And I want to go over that, that strike that he does. So here, I mean, again, he could have took her down. He probably wanted to get away. Don't know if she had a vest or a bomb on. Uh, I don't know why or who this agency is, why no other cop is helping him. It's kind of odd. He's in plain clothes. He's got police on his shirt. Uh, I don't know if he was a detective or what's going on. So he finally takes her to the ground when he gets her away. Nobody else is reacting. Very odd that no other cops came to help him. And I've, I've tried to slow it down to read his shirt to see what agency he's with. Uh, is that a little Secret Service badge? I don't know where they're at. 
wish somebody could zoom in on that and see if that says Secret Service. Does that say secret on it? I can't tell. I thought it said like McCarty or something. McCarthy? I can't tell. I cannot read his shirt. I can't read his badge. Um, man, hard to tell. So after she rips off his glasses, he does a little palm strike here. <clears throat> we used to call it bottom fist or palm strike. You hit somebody with the bottom of your fist. Some people call it the hammer strike. And if you aim for that TMJ right where the jaw meets, you'll usually knock a person out. But he doesn't do it very effectively. He ends up hitting with the front part of his hand instead of the bottom, which also makes it ineffective. So you see that little strike there? Go back and watch that again. I'll do it frame by frame. And glasses. Okay, so here goes his little strike. So he kind of like, it's like a grazing, she's moving. He doesn't really get the TMJ. But I think he was going for the TMJ. Like I said, you hit this jaw right where the jaw, the top and bottom jaw, right underneath the air, ear. If you hit that with a bottom fist strike, dude, guys get wiggly legs. They go down like a boxer with a glass jaw. It's done. So it's a really great strike. He had the right idea, but bad application. I mean, she's fighting, dodging. I get it. After he strikes her, the, this is on the ground. She comes up. Nobody's really helping her moving in. I don't understand that. Here comes a woman. She'll help. I'm sure she'll jump right in. You know, because they're, they're like always Johnny on the spot. I'm sure she'll jump in here in a second and save the day. At least that's what a report will say. So she, this woman right here picks up the microphone, megaphone, says, hey, I got me a free megaphone. Watch this. Yeah. Free megaphone. Yeah, I like that. I always tell people that. When you're working in a hood, evidence, gun, drops, it all disappears. You have people surrounding you very quick. They're yelling at you. You're fighting. If you don't secure the crime scene quickly, evidence disappears. This woman just made this megaphone evidence disappear. Gone. Nobody will know who she is, what happened. Nobody detained her. Nobody stopped her. Just sat around. This guy's wrestling with her, fighting. She's putting up a pretty good little defense. I mean, I'm telling you, man, women are kind of wiry and uh, they have different pain tolerances. I'm sure there'll be some feminazi here. The, the pussy posse will be out on me telling me, women, because they can have a baby, they're stronger than men. And yeah, I'm just telling you, they're pretty flexible. I, I've had one girl wrist way back behind her back up to her neck almost past the top of her head and she was like looking at me still fighting me trying to elbow me with her hand saying that'll hurt you ain't doing nothing so i mean for some reason women can resist pretty good they can't throw a punch they can't really hold you down or use muscle but they're they're pretty tough to uh detain sometimes so this guy's having a pretty good little wrestle with her and she's putting up nobody's helping him i just don't get it Wow. I don't know if this should go under earning the hate or earning a donut. At least he took her to the ground. It was kind of funny. Remember, you can do anything when you're protecting the president. Nobody cares. I tell people that all the time. You don't have any rights. You think you got rights? You ain't got no rights when the president's around. The Secret Service is the king and the leader and the supreme leader and the dictator, the president, and his SS protective force can do whatever they want. No consequences, no nothing. So... This guy may be Secret Service. A suit comes over. This guy may be plain clothes saying, hey, stand back. And the locals have already been told, if Secret Service acts, you back them up. You don't get involved. You let them deal with it. So maybe that's what's going on here. I don't know. But he has a pretty hard time against her. And uh, I thought it was a pretty funny video. What should it be? Earning the hater? I'm going to give this guy a donut. Because at least he went in, grabbed her, and took action. And all these guys would be freaking lazy just collecting a check, but at least this guy earns a donut. So this go under earning the donut. Well, then out there...